I think uh, I think that we've all been tweeting it. It's frustrating for sure. Um, I got another reply on my <laughs> my Twitter account, but uh, um, obviously the news news broke that uh, you know Stafford is you know looking to move on, and um, you know it's a little frustrating it for for sure. It really is. I mean, I think everybody knew that this was coming. I think that everybody knew that this was a possibility, you know, with the new coaching staff coming in, new regime. Um, I think everybody in their mind was understanding that it was going to happen and why it was going to happen and things like that. But I think once the news breaks, it's kind of like, I, I, I was kidding. <laughs> you know, you you try to get those words back like, no, no, bring those back. Um, I'm on the fence, you know, I, I knew this was going to happen. And, you know, you look at all the scenarios of what you can and can't get back and, you know, for his age and, and his injury history and stuff like that, at least over the last few years. Um, and, and that's nothing against Stafford. He's going to be playing for the next six, eight years, you know, assuming he can stay healthy and God willing he does, because I think everybody on the face of this earth, at least in Michigan knows that, um, you know, Stafford's going to ball it out for whoever, uh, he's going to be out there. You're going to have to cut the limbs off just to keep him from going out there type stuff. So um, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to be just fine. But, um, you know, I got to I think in here just a f few hours or an hour after. I don't even know how long it's been since the news broke. Um, what can we do? What are our best options and things like that? So, you know, as I was... Uh, reading through and scrolling through and kind of getting everybody's thoughts of, you know, he needs to go to the Saints, he needs to go here, he needs to go here, you know. Bottom line is, I think all of us, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but all of us are going to um, root for him wherever he goes. So, um, best thing that I can say is, you know, you got to get what you can out of him. Uh, we know that this is not a retool. I mean, retool, you call it whatever you want. There's so many pieces that this team needs that that we need to be competitive again. Um, I mean, I could probably say you need eleven defenders. I mean, let's 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 put it right there. Um, yeah, you have three um, guys in the defensive secondary that could you know you could build around and Akuda and Awarie and 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 I would think Walker. Um, you got a couple guys on the uh, uh, defensive line that you can work around. Um, uh, I think, um, you know, we, we still really don't know what we have in Deshaun Hand. Uh, we still really don't know what we have in Austin Bryant. But those two, if, you know, win healthy and when it clicks, man, they're doing, they do a great job. And, and I think we saw flashes of that this year with Bryant. And I think we saw flashes of this uh, a couple years ago with Hand. Um, Okwara is, a, is, a, is an awesome surprise and kind of a consolation prize from the, was it the Giants, I think we picked him up from. So, I, I I just don't know if we can spend the money on him. I, I don't know. I mean, you're going to get $14 million from Stafford this year, um, you know, as a cap savings, but we're dead another $5 million on top of that, you know, at $19 million. So, you know, I mean, it would just we just have to suffer through it this year because I think it gets very cap-friendly um, after this year. But a uh, um, couple, couple pointers that I think or a couple options that I think might – be a decent uh, selection, and please let me know in the comments below. I know this is going to run past the Twitter uh, timeline, but I'm going to try and cut it up so I can get it on there. But I'll definitely post this on my YouTube account uh, with Talking Sports with Tyler. So please look that up if you can. Give a like and a subscribe and comment below. Um, but I think number one option that we can do with Stafford is, um, I mean, it all depends on who comes calling. You know, I mean, I think everybody can use. A, uh, an established veteran who can sling it like he can. So I think this is going to be a bidding war. I think it's going to be a long process. I don't think anything can go down until sometime around March when the league year starts. So I don't even know what date that is, but I believe it's the first part of March. Um, but I would think a good option could be uh, free agents. You look out there, uh, one name that floats out, it's a big name, is D Dak Prescott. I don't know on that one quite yet how I feel on that one. It depends on what his foot does, and it depends on what the Cowboys do. Uh, so that one is just kind of like a, we'll put it over here. <laughs> I mean, I know there's some people out there that are going to look at me going, you're crazy. The kid has talent. I mean, hands down, he has talent, both with his feet and his hand. So, uh, or his arm. Uh, so what 
we'll just stick him over here. But then you have um, an option that I think is kind of intriguing. I've been a fan of his. He's not like this upper echelon type quarterback, but um, you know, the, with the breaking news that we had of Anthony Lynn coming on board, um, take a look at Tyrod Taylor. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he's a free agent this year. I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes uh, a target um, for our our team. And then we can look if there's no trades that happen as far as you know moving in the draft. You know, you can look at taking a rookie quarterback and and seeing if you can play the Tyrod Taylor, Justin Herbert type thing. I, one of the Twitter uh, uh, community, uh, the the Lions fans on Twitter, they they brought that up too, and I'm like, you know, that's that's a good point. I mean, Herbert beat him out, so um, and then unfortunately Tyrod got hurt, you know. So, but there's an option. Guy can sling it and he can run, um, and he knows um, Anthony Lynn's system or what plays he could be bringing. Another option that was brought up, and I think this one's a really good one. I've been trying to figure out how you get. Stafford to the Colts. I think the Colts defense is up and coming. Colts defense is young. They're fast. They're quick. They hit hard. Um, they got a heck of an off in, or a front seven. Uh, not too bad on the back end either. Um, they have some offensive weapons there. You know, you have Jonathan Taylor who tore it up this year towards the end. Um, you have T.Y. Hilton who, if he can stay healthy, he's still steady Eddie. Um, Michael Pittman Jr. is an excellent uh, receiver there. So... Um, and Stafford likes to mix in the tight ends, and that's where I think that um, Indy has kind of struggled over the time is they don't know how to get the tight end the ball since Dallas Clark. So, um, you know, and, and speaking of Dallas Clark era, this to me feels kind of like the Peyton Manning Colts uh, departure. You know, you've had such a staple for so long with your team who's gone through all these lumps and bumps, and and now he's gone. You know, it's almost like, I mean, I know De- um, Peyton was – you know, uh, I don't know. He, he, I see a lot of similarities between their games. You know, I mean, I think, yeah, the same situation is what I, I'm seeing here. So, I mean, I, I'm just trying to think through my head what, what to do here because I'm a huge Stafford fan. So I hate to see him leave the team that I root for. Um, but I want to see him succeed everywhere. I've heard, you know, try to get him to the Saints. You know, with Breeze gone there, he deserves to win. They're set up to win, and maybe he's got enough there to where, um, you know, unfortunately Breeze was kind of lacking because he was hurt. Um, but that's an option. Um, does he go to the Patriots? I mean, we hate to say it, but um, Matty P is there now doing whatever type of – I don't know. They feel like they just made a position up. Uh, but, you know, Bill Belichick isn't afraid to pull that trigger either, and I think that that's a marriage that could potentially work. Does Matthew Stafford want to go back and work with Matty P? Probably not, but I don't know. Who knows? But one that I was thinking of, and this is probably more difficult to swing, but you let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and then also any other scenarios uh, you you can suggest. I, I, I want to be able to talk back and forth. So, uh, But if you could trade Stafford to Jacksonville for the seventh pick and Stafford, and then it will probably be... Uh, some you know third and fourth and fifth round the mid round picks thrown in there, um, or you could trade Stafford to Indianapolis, get the twenty first pick, twenty first pick and the third round pick, package those with the seven and Stafford to Jacksonville, get the number one and pick up Lawrence. Not a bad haul. Um, do I want to roll and watch an entire season with a rookie quarterback? Not necessarily, but Daryl Bevel just. Uh, was hired down in Jacksonville, so I could see Stafford down there. We all saw this, the cryptic message that uh, Marvin Jones Jr. put down on there when he heard that Bevel was going down there, So, and Marvin wants to go play in Florida. So I think that's a marriage there. And then on top of this, I think everybody's thinking it as well, is you gotta, you got to tag and, tag and trade Kenny Galladay right now. You might as well just start all over from the quarterback position. You might as well start all over from the running back position and you overhaul that defense as best you can with free agents and late round picks. Um, I mean, I hate to say that, but I think that's what we're going to see. So um, again, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. I'm going to hit up these videos more often. Um, Let me know what you think. And do we just go ride with what we have? I mean, I know we have Chase Daniel for another two years. I don't know if that'll work. I mean, he's a, okay quarterback but not one that i want to roll with um but yeah let me know what you think um it's a tough day for detroit it's a tough day because you know we have the 
I think, in my opinion, have a really good staff. But, you know, you get the highs of Anthony Lynn coming in. He's got head coaching experience. He's had success at the upper level. Uh, you've got an up-and-comer with Aaron Glenn, and you've got a fiery guy in Campbell who I think can lead and allow his coordinators to do their job for what they're hired for. And um, I was so excited when I had heard Anthony Lynn was on there, and then you get the news breaking uh, from, from Schefter and, and Rappaport and um, Palisario. I mean, it's it was disheartening, man. It was just like, oh, there goes Stafford, there goes my quarterback. But anyways... Um, but those think in, those scenarios uh, sink in and, and give them some thought and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, yeah, let's ride this out, man. I mean, I, nobody jump ship, please. Let's, uh, let's ride this out. Take care, stay classy, stay safe, and be kind. Peace.